Hi, welcome to the overview for the expandable sound and vibration measurement system based on Compact DAC and using FlexLogger software. Sound and vibration is an essential measurement for verification and validation testing, as most products, regardless if it's a large structure or everyday appliances, will have vibrational influence over it. So measuring the durability during that time will increase the confidence for sustainability of the materials in the product for long term. But before we go into the specifics of this system, let's go through a let's go through it real time. So I'm going to open up our FlexLogger software. FlexLogger is a configuration-based data acquisition software for data logging. You'll notice here on our screen that we have real-time data coming from our Compact DAC fourth channel all the way to this accelerometer. I'm going to run our test over here, and you'll notice that there will be a TDMS file on the left which is now recording. I will now start the blender. And you'll notice that as soon as I stop, I will get a TDMS and a CSV file. And you'll notice here as well that we've gotten some data that will now be logged into the file itself. The system has two of the 9234 modules, and this is specifically designed for sound and vibration measurements. While NI has some generic analog input and output modules available, since this is specialized, it takes care of some of those basic modifications that you might need, such as AC-DC coupling, filtering, and built-in excitation. The chassis itself has one clock, so all the modules that are within the chassis can use the same clock for synchronization of dynamic measurements. While sound and vibration is an essential measurement for verification and validation, it's not the only measurement in your test system. So you can actually add or swap in one of our multiple 80 plus modules, such as voltage, uh, strain and load, and temperature to build your perfect system. So now let's jump back into the software. NI has created specific templates for vibration and sound. And let's start looking at the four tabs. We have the channel specifications where you can uh, change or add any of the channels and sensor configurations. I have modified it slightly so we have this one accelerometer measurement and you can see that we have some live values coming in. We have our logging specifications where the only thing I've changed in here is exporting a CSV file so we can get that data as well. Next is our test specifications. This is where you can add alarms so you can be notified if anything goes amiss during a trial. And lastly, the default screen that is available is this. It has a frequency spectrum graph as well as some warning and alarm systems for your configuration needs. And this is our modified system. I've created just this for our specific accelerometer data for one channel. Overall, NI has created our chassis and modules specifically for durability and quality, so you can be confident in your test system and focus on just the results. Thank you for watching the overview of the sound and vibration measurement system.